Hey everybody, and welcome back to Tales of Legendia, my second favorite game of all time, or one of my second favorite games, I think. Anyway, so, before we go on, I would like to address the music. Um, you may have noticed that it has quite a distinct flavor to it that's different from any other Tales game I've done. Uh, it's different from Tales of Eternia, Tales of Destiny, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Eternia... Oh, wait, I already said Eternia, didn't I? And, um, Tales of the Abyss. It's different because it was actually not composed by Motoi Sakuraba, which is the composer for every other Tales game in existence. Um, the composer for this game is, goes by the name Masaru Shina, also known as Go Shina. And, um, he is another, um, composer who's employed by uh, Namco Bandai. Um, he worked on God Eater, and he's best known for doing this game and, you know, God Eater. So, that's one of the reasons why this game has very different music, because it's not produced by the normal, um, you know, composer. However, does that make it bad? Absolutely not. The music in this game is, like, oh my god, every single song is like a masterpiece. I love them. Like, there's n literally, you will have a hard time saying about this, saying this about pretty much anything. But, um, I love almost every single song in this game, and there's not a single song in this game that I dislike. Like none. I'm dead serious. There's no song in this game that I dislike. I'm pretty sure. It's been a year since I played it, but I don't remember disliking any song. But anyway, I love about the music. Nice to meet you. And we also don't have the Wonder Chef, so yeah. Uh, something weird just popped out. Who is that, Will? Don't ask me. I've never seen something that strange. She's just a baker. I I'm not weird or strange. I am the 28th Wonder Baker, Mimi. Yeah, okay. The 28th? What? <laughs> How do you like that? Impressive, huh? Uh, no. Not really. You're just a baker. I see you're at a loss for words. As a reward for finding me, I'll teach you a simple recipe for making bread. Great. And just where are we supposed to make it? Just go to a bakery. Come to think of it, there is a bakery in town. <laughs> okay, that works. If we meet again, I'll teach you more recipes. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Going. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> But a little thing like this can't stop me, I shall rise again. Yeah, you already did. And again. What was that all about? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Acquired basket. Recipe for toast. Hey, wait a minute. She told us how to make bread, not toast. But okay. Uh, okay, nothing. Oh. Oh, God. And it begins. <sighs> Say hello to reason number one why this is not um, exactly one of my favorite games ever. It's, well, I mean, you know what I mean. It's not. This is one of the reasons why it's not one of my favorite games of all time. Or, never mind. <laughs> this is the reason why it's not my favorite Tales game of all time. The One of the major reasons, random battles. You should know by now how I feel about random battles. To say that I dislike them is an understatement, but whatever. What is this place? Quite a sight, isn't it? It's amazing that all of this is on a ship. There's even a city. Senel. Hmm? Have you ever heard the word Marinus before? No. Hmm. Very well. An ancient kingdom once flourished aboard the Legacy. It was known as the Kingdom of Terrasus. The kingdom was actually led by a person designated as the Marinus. So you're saying this Marinus thing is connected to the Legacy? That's right. It seems that the Marinus was able to control this great ship using nothing but the power of his will. The reason Shirley is being pursued is because some people believe her to be a descendant of the Marinus. 
Why would they think that? Right around the time you arrived, a pillar of light appeared in the center of the legacy. A pillar of light. When the pillar of light appears, a new Marinus shall arise. It's an old legend taken from the records of Teresus. That's got nothing to do with us. It's just a coincidence. I thought so too at first, but once I laid eyes on her, on Shirley, I started to wonder. Why? Because Marinus means shining one. The legacy was discovered 15 years ago. The ship is shrouded in countless mysteries, very few of which have been solved. We don't have the slightest idea about even basic things like how it moves or when it will stop. Were a descendant of the Marinus to appear, many would consider her an invaluable asset. Yeah, well, that's got nothing to do with Shirley. So, yeah, uh, Sennel's kind of a dick. But anyway, I'll get back to Sennel after I get done with the random... Um, so, I dislike random battles very deeply and greatly for two very distinct reasons. Okay, make that three. Um, one, it's disruptive and annoying as hell. That's the obvious one. The other one... Oh, well, is it three? I keep forgetting. I keep getting hung up on twos and three. <laughs> okay, the first one, it's very disruptive and very you annoying. On yourself. Um, two, it's very frustrating when you have battles that you can't avoid. The best, you know, the best games with um random battles. I mean, I mean, okay. The first games that. Okay, wait, hang on. I gotta think about this for a second. The Tales games that don't have random battles, like Tales of Symphonia, you have enemy avatars running around and you can dodge them. That is the one of the biggest points that make random battles so annoying. There's never any point when you can avoid a fight. The only thing that you can do is make them appear slightly less often. So it's very, very frustrating when you can never fully avoid fighting because it makes going anywhere through zones like this very tedious and annoying. Um, what's this? Oh, healing circle, okay. Um, the second part, and arguably bigger in an RPG. Again? Yes, Sennel, again, it's a random battle. What did you expect? Um, oh, okay. The biggest thing is that... You brought this I, I gotta turn yourself. it down, because I gotta be able to think. Um, okay. This one is more from a game design standpoint, so it doesn't really impact regular people, but it impacts me because I think about the stuff. You see this area here? How we're running around, it's got waterfalls, there's trees, there's grass, and there's all this kind of weird looking stone and stuff. It makes it look like there's ancient ruins here and stuff. What is this area missing? Anybody gonna take a guess? Well, you don't have to. I'll tell you exactly what's missing. It's missing life. It's missing living things moving around. It's like, imagine going into a forest and never seeing a squirrel or Again? a wolf or a bear or anything. It's, it, the thing is, if you have random battles, I understand if you have rad, random battles in an old game, like Final Fantasy 1 or 2 or 3 or whatever, because those were on the SNES. It wasn't that powerful of a machine compared to the PS2 or the PS3 or whatever. So obviously, you, they must not have had the ability to have all the enemy um, avatars running around. They couldn't program all the AI and stuff. I assume there's some game design thing they couldn't do because it would be difficult to have all that. But in these new consoles, it's absolutely inexcusable to not have random battle, er, to not have enemy avatars running around a dungeon because it makes the dungeons feel Again? lifeless. They feel boring. There's nothing living there. It's just, you're just running through an empty hallway. So it's very, very, yourself. um, it's just not appealing to have a dungeon that's just empty and stuff. It makes it feel boring and dead and lifeless. So that's 
those are my two big gripes about the random battles, which from here on out, I'm not going to really go into it aside from just, Ugh, stop pissing me off! You know, it's just going to be like that. So, yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to explain a little bit about the uh, the art style and, like, the whole kind of skit-like talking stuff. You know how the just a picture of them appears and stuff like that? And also the reason for the LMBS. So, yeah, after this scene, I'll talk about it. Welcome to Where to Speak In. It gets its name from the lighthouse. Lively little place, isn't it? A lighthouse? Here? It's some kind of beacon, a remnant of the Kingdom of Terrasis. No one knows what it's really for. It lights up occasionally, so that people just think of it as a lighthouse. Will, great timing! Come quick! There's a plaza with a fountain in the center of the city. Wait for me there, Sentinel. Hey, first tell me how to get to the bandit's lair. Wah, wah. The plaza with the fountain. So, okay. The reason for the art style and the LMBS, which if you don't know what LMBS means, I won't blame you. Um, LMBS stands for the Linear Motion Battle System, which is the battle system that was used in most of the old games like Tales of Eternia and Tales of Destiny. Um, it's basically kind of like a fighting game where, um, you know, you fight on a 2D plane. It's not like Tales of the Abyss where you have the ability to free run around a, a circular uh, battle system. So, uh, the reason for that is because this game was actually not developed by the Tales Studio, which it sounds crazy, but it, it wasn't. It was developed by Project Melfest. Remember that logo that appeared in the beginning of the game? Well, it was developed by them. They were another team that was owned, or well, not owned, they were under Namco, Banco, or Namco Bandai, and they worked on um, some fighting games and stuff, I believe. Uh, I could look them up or whatever, but I'm too lazy to do that in the middle of a video. But if you want to look them up yourselves, you can. But suffice it to say, they were uh, responsible for several fighting games named, um, you know, Namco Bandai produced and stuff. So, um, this game was for some reason developed by a different uh, developer. So, yeah. Uh, the car turned the way. I guess I'll just come back later. Okay. Can't go there. Um, so, yeah. That's why this game is so different. This one, honestly, Legendia, it's considered kind of the black sheep of the series. Think of it kind of like the Majora's Mask of the Tales series. And just like Majora's Mask, it's really awesome. Although, Majora's Mask, I'm not really that big of a fan of Majora's Mask. But, whatever. And I'm really, honestly, I'm only a, not a big fan of Majora's Mask just because I had trouble when I played it the first time and I had no idea what to do. So anyway, that has nothing to do with this game. Um, also, uh, Sennel, you might notice he's kind of a dick. Um, okay, well, maybe not a dick, but, you know, he's, uh, he's quiet, he's kind of mistrusting, you know, he doesn't talk to many people, you know, when Will asks him just regular questions, he's just like, whatever, I'm not answering you because I don't know you, you know, um, <laughs> uh, not exactly like that, but whatever, um, there is a reason for that, and it will be explained later, and it's also why uh, Senel is actually one of my favorite Tales protagonists, um, almost even more than Luke. And um, well, I'll probably go into it more later as the story progresses, but the character development for Senel is phenomenal. It's awesome. Um, there was one more thing. Uh, I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll probably remember it later. I'm sure it was important, so I'll remember it later. Or, well, if it was important, I'll remember it later. So, here we go. Nice fountain. Very pretty. I want a fountain like that, man. That really is gorgeous looking. Okay, shut up about the fountain. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this scene is so much funniness. Hello there. Is this your first time in where it is speaking? You're dressed like an Alliance Marine. 
You look pretty strong. So, are you strong or are you not? Who cares? I care. I really want to know. I need to know. I can't stand it when there's something I don't know. You know? Hey, anybody want to take me on? If you can beat me, I'll give you 50,000 gold. That's what this person just said. Hey, what are you trying to do? Sounds like a good time to me. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. Get out of my way. His fingertips, they're glowing. Wait, this guy's an Aaron? He can use Eris. Interesting. Iron Eris, I presume. He certainly looks like the type who acts before he thinks. Come on now, folks. Don't hold back. It's 50,000 gold, remember? 50,000! Yeah, but still. I don't know. I mean, it's not like we can use Eris. Hey, what's all the commotion about? Oh, God, I hate these guys. Oh. I really, really, really hate these guys, but it's not like they make me angry or anything, you know, it's just... Whatever. God! Not you! Go away! Hey, yo, you that causing trouble, don't you know the rules of this town? Exactly like just what they said, that'll be the rules at all times, you dig? What if you break them? Oh, no! What if you disobey? What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? Those who break the rules will get revealed. The iron hammer of justice and here is the press field. Yo, you got it? <laughs> Sorry. I really, really hate these guys. I want to beat the hell out of them right now. Get your hand off me. Hey, how could you... Do you realize what you've done? Do you know who this is? Yeah, well, he started it. There's nothing he hates more than someone interrupting his song! It was already over, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> Ooh, he's angry! Curtis is angry! You're in trouble now! Isabella, I find myself filled with the most intense sadness. Yes, Curtis. Now I must harden my heart. I must swallow my tears. All for the sake of reforming this wayward youth. Yes, Curtis. Still, it must be done for the sake of love. I heard that, Curtis. <laughs> God. Beauty is power! Great Bantam! Beauty is sin! Wonder Bantam! What? Whatever. Repair yourself! We are the Bantam Bouncers! Ow, 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 owie. It hurts. Ow, my spleen. Oh, hell. What? Oh, defeat! Oh, okay.
Okay, we won. Never mind. <laughs> so he's stronger than the bouncers. Senol, what's going on? What happened? These guys just came at me. I swear, they came out of Why nowhere. Why tell me the full story? <laughs> I didn't see them. They jumped right out in front of me. I don't have time for that. I've got to get to the bandit's lair now. What, are you planning on just charging in there like a rabid dog? Out of my way, or else. That air is stone, it's glowing. You're a crystal Aaron? Time for your punishment, boy. Lightning! <clears throat> Ow. I didn't know Will was Thor, god of thunder and lightning. Or should I say Raiden? I don't know. Either way. Have you awakened? No, I stood up and I'm still asleep. Will really should try to hold back a little more. It's good that he takes his job as a sheriff so seriously, but sometimes he takes things a bit too far. Now, now, let's not be spreading falsehoods, Madame Musette. My real occupation is that of a natural historian. I never claimed to be a sheriff. Let me out of here. Seems like you still haven't learned your lesson. Will told me about the situation. Would you mind if I asked you a question? What exactly is your relationship to Shirley? Shirley's... she's my little sister. I see. Then you must go save her, mustn't you? Will, why don't we let Senel go? But... He's just earnest, that's all. He can't help but be anxious. When your sister is in danger, you must run to her immediately, no matter where she is or what stands in your way. That is what brothers do, is it not? Well, unless the brother hates their sister. Anyway. Don't blame me if he stirs up trouble again. Well then, why don't you accompany him? Is that an order? Just a suggestion. Though, now that I think about it, I believe a certain spirited young lady also headed off to Moses' hideout. Chloe Vollens went there? Yes, and it seems she went alone. Do you think she'll be all right? So now I'm a babysitter. I guess I don't have much choice. Very well, I will help you get your sister back, since I now seem to have other business there as well. Isn't that nice, Senel? Um, thanks. You're quite welcome. Will join the party. So, uh, two quick things. First off, uh, Will, obviously, his last name is Reynard. Um, there's a reference in Tales of Asperia to uh, Reynard because um, there's a skill that Carol can get, and it's called, uh, well, Reynard. So, there you go. And then there's also another one called Combatir, which is a reference to uh, Persea from Tales of Symphonia. Uh, two, Eris is art. Basically, it's arts. So you know, like, um, you know, strike arts are. Let's hurry to the bandit's lair. Will, I believe you've forgotten your map. Ah, thank you. Wired world map. Yay, or world map, or. Take care ship. of yourself, Semmel. <laughs> when you return with Shirley, let's all get together for tea. Eh, no, I don't like tea. Anyway, um, so, basically, Eris, they're the arts. So, like, demon, like, demon fist, or it's basically demon fang, or shadow rush. It's, there you go, they're just arts. Um, iron Eris are strike arts, and crystal Eris are, uh, magics. So, yeah, that would make, uh, Will Reynard a crystal Eris, and, uh, Senel and iron Eris. So, there you go. Um, for now, 
Uh, this video stretched on a little bit too long, so I'm going to go ahead and save it and be done. And next time we will go ahead... Oh, here we go. Good. Uh, next time on Tales of Legendia, we will continue the story and we'll go chase after those bandits. So yeah, see you guys then.